The Democrat and Republicans working for a barbarian that can scarcely spell his own name. Hey, the only thing more pleasant than seeing you would be seeing the Grim Reaper himself. You gentlemen are about to make a hideous choice. You two are pitiable figures weeping with blood, and it's gonna be your own blood. Are you aware, gentlemen, that this is all a play? We don't want paper money. We want gold and silver. Okay, listen. Uncle Sweetheart is organizing a benefit concert a benefit concert to help the real victims of this revolution. However, I will be personally siphoning the majority of the funds into the kitty of the fattest cat of all. Me and you gentlemen will be paid in full. When? Definitely in this lifetime. Look, you got the money or not? I understand you're not accustomed to staring into the face of God. Shut up. I can't. As long as I keep talking, I know I'm still alive. Who's talking to you, huh? Yeah, ain't no point in listening, either. Huh? I'm not gonna debate semantics with you. Look, it's real, it's beyond phenomena. They're shooting and killing. I mean, how do you define war in this day and age? What are they fighting about? I don't know what they're fighting about. I mean, do the, do the Hindus, Arabs, Jews, Irish, Muslims, Buddhists know what they're fighting about? The last person who actually knew that was killed a long time ago. They're all religious wars. Uh, look, we've got dead aliens stacked up in warehouses. What else do you want to know? We're talking about a war with no technological spin-off. It's an uneasy puzzle to solve, gentlemen. So why a benefit concert? Well, how else do you get rock stars to do television, huh? You either give them a cause or you give them an award. Hmm? What happened to you? What happened to me? How far back you want to go? So where's my headliner, huh? I just got off the phone with the network. They want something to promote. They need something to promote. They have some questions about your ability to perform services due. And I suppose you told them I was a total showbiz stud, mm. that you have total mystical knowledge and faith in me and absolutely no question about my ability to perform services due. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So who are we getting, huh? We're we getting any important people, you know? Headliners, top of the line performers. Maybe. Could be. You never know. <laughs> Should I believe you? Of course. <laughs> so now tell me, 
Are we screwed or are we not screwed? Oh, I'm not. Are you? I don't think you are getting screwed. That's your problem. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't believe you're gonna turn this disaster into a seduction. This place bugged? Uncle Sweetheart, we're fighting a war here, in case you didn't know. War? Don't tell me about war. I fought in the granddaddy all wars, wars and all wars. I want to rip your heart out. Look, honey, honey, I'm on your side. My side? Everyone I've ever met, I can look in the eye and tell what side he's on. So let's stop the spiffy chatter. I'm on my way to a meeting at the network. They have a much greater reach and resonance than even they themselves might suspect. Oh, for the love of humanity, we must limit their power. <laughs> you don't take any of this seriously. Yes, I do. Look at me being all serious. Mm. No, look, no, wait a minute. Here's the thing. I don't think Sting or Springsteen or Billy Joel or McCartney is going to work out. But, 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 I have a surprise for you. what just happened here. We're the headliners. The big waves, big names, superstars. What's to understand? There's nothing to understand. They're not here, they're not coming. You mean to tell me after all this time, we wind up with Jack Fate? Well, Jack, nobody's more like it. He was over before he started. Are you finished? We're all finished. You know, ultimately, we didn't have the money and the budget to attract a big name. You said we did. Yeah, well, then I was wrong. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Something is starting to smell here. Something is giving off a very bad odor. And these fumes are starting to choke me. We can do some very ugly things. I could have you killed right now for the price of a cup of coffee and everybody in this room would turn the other way. Hey, can we stop kidding around here now? I think we should pull the plug. Plug? There's no plug. You show me a plug, I'll pull it. There's no plug, there's no socket, there's no wall. If I'm going down, I'm taking the wall with me. <laughs> By the way, uh, Jack Fade, he isn't a blood relative, is he? Shut up, Valentine. You think we'll get off cheap with Jack Fate? But believe me, the price will be steep. And one more thing. If you want to suffer agony for someone else's happiness, do it on your own time. Now go away. savings together. Hell, I don't know. I felt free in a long time. Keeping people from being free is big business. I'll keep it in mind. Open her up! Hey, Jack! Jack! Where are you going? Roswell. You don't seem to understand. When they heard Jack Fate's name mentioned, there was complete silence. What? reverence, like prayer. Yeah, I was doing the praying, doing the cancel the whole thing. 
Don't they understand who Jack Fate is? Nobody knows who Jack Fate is anymore. Nobody cares. I mean, he doesn't make records. He doesn't go on tour. He doesn't do interviews. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't have to. He's a legend. Does Jesus have to walk on water twice to make a point? Besides, he's virtually free. Who else can you say that about? Virtually free? No one is virtually free. You're either free or you're not free. You know, if he's gonna play this concert, then he's gonna play exactly what we tell him. Eri la più carina, un'eterna mi sliceo, eri un trofeo per il torneo, nei Romeo che dietro di te facevano corteo e tu sultavi tutti senza scrupoli, indossavi uomini come abiti, con la tua bellezza li rendevi deboli, servili ed arrendevoli, poi quando ti stancavi li buttavi di postraccio vecchio del loro Ehi Prospero, what's happening man? Hey, you missed it. Two eagles just killed a pregnant rabbit. Hmm, rabbit must have done something. Leave in town? Yeah. My choice this time? Not really. Nothing ever really is. Where are you heading? That way. That's a good direction. I've done that a lot. One of my favorites. You know what else is good? That way. <laughs> Maybe next time. Think there's gonna be a next time? For you, maybe. So you ever coming back? I did come back. Is this bus going across the border? No, sir, you're going the wrong way. All right. What are you drinking? What am I drinking? I'm drinking my life away. Why? You want some? I can forget that you're poor. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have any. So what's up? What's up? Isn't that an interesting question to ask me? I got reporters wounded. I've got reporters that are held captive, held hostage. I got two reporters dead. I got reporters on the front lines. I got reporters that are uh, undercover with the insurgents, with the counterinsurgents. I got people inside the Capitol, even in the office of the president himself. Yeah, I've done all that. Yeah, you've done all that, and people are still dying out there, my friend. Everybody's doing the killing now. Everybody's doing the dying. Yeah. Where does that leave you? Are you still a journalist, or are you a novelist? Same thing out here. So, what's this all about, huh? I got things to do. I got my awards, I got my scars. Got nothing to prove to you. <laughs> You'll never change. There's a benefit concert. A benefit concert? For medical relief. It's gonna be broadcast on the network. The government controls the network. I just want to make sure it's not a PR thing, that they're not trying to make themselves look compassionate, or that it's not some kind of a setup, or a nefarious ploy to weed out the rebels. But I will tell you this, there is a story there. That's no story. That's no story. That's every story. That is the story. Make something out of it. And if you can't do that, sir, then make it up. Uh, how much time do I have to do this? I don't have a lot of time. Jesus Christ, man. You don't have a lot of time. Abraham Lincoln, listen to me, Abraham Lincoln gave the famed Gettysburg Address in five minutes. Five. So don't ever talk to me about time. There's something else. Only one performer. Only one? Yeah. One. Try that on. You don't need more than that performer. Okay. That's 
changed my mind. About what? About what? About everything. Everything? Everything. Enjoy it. Because this is your last shot. something the matter, right? I don't want there to be. <laughs> you don't understand. You can't stay honest out there anymore. Why? What's changed? <sighs> I'm gonna be gone for a couple of days. Maybe you shouldn't be here when I get back. Where are you going? I want to go. Don't we always have a good time? Yeah, good times don't last long. You are making everything so tragic. Tragic? I'm not making it tragic. Every period in history has been more or less tragic. I don't know what you're saying. Don't you read the paper? The pervert's going to be the top man now. Man of the hour. to kill somebody, how will you do it? With a gun or with a knife? With my bare hands. Look, it's an overcrowded world. It's hard to get to the top. There's a long line at the elevator. Doesn't matter. We'll take the stairs. Let me go with you. the old government with a new government, which was just as bad. They were, they were taking people's money. They were, they, were, they were making promises with no intentions of keeping them. And then a small army of counter-revolutionaries grew to battle the rebels in the mountains where the government forces were ineffective. I changed sides. No one ever noticed. This new movement was, was fighting for the truth the rebels supposedly believed in, but really didn't. And then I realized that this movement was being funded by the very government I wanted to topple. At that point, I realized I didn't want the government to fall. It would only be replaced with anarchy. 
I started believing in preserving the Republic, so I joined the government forces. I fought bravely for the cause. And then one day, we wiped out a small village. They, they, they told us something about uh, the rebels having infiltrated. It was a lie. All, all the men were uh, either dead or old. And there, were, there, were, there was nothing but uh, women and children left. Of course not. Why shouldn't we tell him? Of course not. Do you hear who the headliner is? Oh, look, I like Beethoven. Stravinsky. Schubert's really good. Modern music doesn't do much for me. Quite frankly, it doesn't do much for the present matter. This is not some banjo player. Anything we should do? Well, they would have gotten a big star to headline the concert. Might have had to take action, you know. But they didn't get a big star. Big stars think it's too dangerous here. Big stars, <laughs> they like doing benefits. But only if the benefits are held in places where they won't get shot at. Oh, man. Let me ask you, you ever met any big stars with a set of nuts? Huh? With any big balls, any goddamn brains or charisma? Huh? Oh. oh, man, big stars, they like, uh, they like it safe. They don't like to put their life on the line for a cause that they don't understand. I mean, who does, huh? <laughs> what do you want to do about Jack Faye? Nothing. Hey. Jack Fake doesn't understand anything. Besides, he ain't a big star. Anything they can, they, anything they can get their hands on. They, uh, you know, they might just harass us. They might, uh, they might uh, let us go. They might, uh, they might kill us. They might uh, make us join them. They might drug us. I don't know. You know, you know, it's it, 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 it's violence is the only thing they know. It's, it's the only tool in their box. And, and 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 you can't build a house with one tool. I got a tool, too. Hey, 
they have no ideology. They push both Jesus and Judas aside. Seen the arrow on the dumpling. Once he was a real father, full of love, compassion, and forgiveness. That didn't last too long. After a while, being a father didn't amount to more than an official title. He sacrificed everything he ever wanted to reach his destiny, to rule this empire with an iron fist. From the cat houses and gambling joints, he rose to the top rung of civilization, president of this godforsaken nation. I need to ring a bell to get a refill? You see, my glass is empty. Yeah, the glass is always empty. It's supposed to the spot on the counter where the money's supposed to be. Tell me, who in the hell's presiding over this, this slaughterhouse, huh? You or me? Look, tough guy. You want the world to be flat? It's flat. You want it to be round? It can be round. You son of a bitch. I know some things, too. Yeah, the more you know, the more you'll suffer. You got that right. Hello? What? Jack? How am I doing? Man, I didn't think I'd ever hear from you again after that night. I thought that... No, I'll leave now. I'll be there by morning. Is this for real? I'm on my way. Hey, man. No hard feelings. But I'm sure the next guy that serves you a drink is probably gonna draw the same conclusions. It's on the house. He's not here. How do you know? I don't see him. How do you know he's not like Claude Rains in that movie, The Invisible Man? Who? If he doesn't show up, you better get invisible. C'est la lady, mille ciao. Salutala dunque sia. È partita tempo fa. Place looks familiar. I think I stayed here before. Well, welcome back. Your pen's still out of ink. Not a problem, sir. You here for the concert? Yeah, isn't everybody? Oh, yeah. Will you be in need of a woman, sir? The kind of woman? We got all kind. Slave women, immigrant women, black women, white women, young women, old women, rich, poor, middle class, free women, Western women, Northern women, Southern women, intellectual. Radical women, modern. They run the gamut. 
Which car would you like? No, I'm just tired. Can you give me a room? I'm gonna give you the same room Nixon slept in the night before he made that famous speech to the press. Are you, you won't have Nixon to kick around anymore. I'm gonna give you that room. Because it's got the most comfortable bed in the house. Okay, I'll take that room. All right. By the way, what side of the political fence are you on? I do not belong to any political party, sir. I guess you could call me a feminist. Sir, your pen, it's filled. Some of us pursue perfection and virtue, and if we're lucky, we catch up to it. But happiness can't be pursued. It either comes to you or it don't. You can always say, if only this or if only that, but if only is a state of mind that we get into when we feel deprived. In my father's world, we do not take what is his, not his gold, not his silver, not his woman. I thought I was doing it for my mother. I thought I was doing it for my country. Ultimately, I knew I was doing it for me. In the end, it's the strongest arm that stretches the bow. from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Let me show you this place. I want a piece of it. Which piece? This changes every day. Come on, sit down. There's a chair. Plant your ass in it. You look good. You got the jail pail. It suits you. So what do you got cooked up, sweetheart? What's your angle? This is going to be a patriotic rhapsody, Jack. Here's the deal. You'll be working for the people, the peasants, the children. Imagine yourself being reincarnated in the Civil War in Babylon. Civil War in Babylon? Come on, son, snap out of it. You gotta stand up on your tiptoes to see the future. Look, man, this is our big chance. Another big chance. Yeah, that's right. You do this show, this benefit, it'll be seen all over the world. You put your career back on track, maybe a tour, maybe a record, maybe both. Make a little money and save the world all at the same time. It's all politics, Jack, and money is the mother's milk of politics, and we'll be a raking it in. You know you're not gonna make any of them things happen. So? So what? So will you play? 
Of course I'll play. You know I'll play. Well, good. I already told him you would. You couldn't get anybody else, could you? It didn't even cross my mind. It didn't even occur to me. Nobody could be like you, and a great many have tried. I just know this is going to come off. There ain't some boys you can play. I got some musicians right here. Feast your eyes on Simple Twist of Fate, the best and only Jack Fate cover band in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special treat for you this evening. Not only do we possess the twist of fate, we possess the cha-cha, the boogaloo, and the watusi of fate, Jack Fate! Yes! Your feet, you can't like this job, but it ain't you gonna miss your best friend now. You're gonna have to find yourself another best friend somehow. High times rising, my but does you make a sound? As I pass on a levy and my but does you let me down? Take it for sugar, salt for salt. You go down in the flood, it's gonna be your fault. Hey, hey you're gonna miss your best friend now. You're gonna have to find yourself another best friend. Someone. they ever get you to do this? They must be scraping the bottom of the barrel. I might have a few songs left. <laughs> you wouldn't try anything, would you? I got a lot of respect for a gun. You create a nation of lawbreakers, and then you cash in on guilt. That's the system. That's the game. Once you understand that, you'll sleep a lot easier. Remember, life is like riding in a taxi. Even if you're not going anywhere, Beautiful animals. Oh, thank you. But it's God deserves the credit. They don't have time to bother with success of getting rich. They don't have fantasies of glory. They don't borrow money to buy things that decrease in value while they own it. See, they're beautiful because they just are. They do what they do. Lion don't try to be a tiger. Rabbit don't try to do an impression of a monkey. They don't try to be what they're not. Well, like us, us human beings. The cheetah, the tiger, the snake, the monkey, the baboon, the muskrat, the bobcat, the pig that's fat, the hippo, the rhino, the dodo, the honey badger, the slathy toad, each one, each perfect in their own original form. And that man came in. Who created him and for what purpose? Still a mystery. Why is he here? It's a mystery. We know he's trespassing. Doesn't know his own place. Of course he doesn't know his own place. He don't have one. Man, the bear hunter, the bird trapper, the deer chaser, the man, the bear hunter, the deer trapper, the, the, the man, the bear hunter, the fur trapper, the man, the, 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 the deer chaser, baby seal clubber, the dolphin snagger, lowest form of existence, lowest form of existence. He's a rabble rouser, he's a stir upper, an agitator goes around sticking his nose where it don't belong. The zoo, the, the aquarium, they are, they are the prisons for the animal. These animals cannot learn anything from man can. My, man, doesn't have, man doesn't have a thing to teach him. I've always looking at human beings. Disgust me so much with their atom bombs and blow dryers and automobiles. They build hospitals as shrines to the diseases they create. Human beings alone with their secrets, masked and anonymous. No one truly knows him. 
If I see a crack in the sidewalk, it's more beautiful to me than any human being. A crack in the mud at the bottom of a sun-dried dead lake, I count that more beautiful than any human being. You know what I mean? I don't know what you mean. Kind of like a curse, isn't it, being born? You got that right. Yeah, because we live in fear. Because we know we're going to die. Animals don't know they're going to die. They got no fear. They live content in the moment. <laughs> Holds us back. Knowledge of death. I, I say amazing grace indeed. Oh, I'll tell you something else. Ancient cultures, civilizations, we used to sacrifice animals like cattle and rabbits and goats and such instead of human being. Now, today we do it the other way around. We sacrifice the human being, like the Incas, like the Aztecs, like the big corporations. Amazing grace indeed. Hey. Howdy. What was that all about? The guys into animals, I guess. Oh, let's come on inside. I want to show you this place. You'll like it. Right yeah. up your alley. Oh, the networks are really behind this. They're putting up a lot of money for this deal. It's a bitched up world, Jack. The only way we can protect ourselves is by going mad. I'm not going to kill you. Some famous star from the Jazz A's was disfigured right here on this stage during a live show. Uh, the hell was that sucker's name? Can't remember that guy's name. Mm, I don't know. Stagalee? No. You know what really, really gets my goat, though? I mean, all this talk about race this, race that, ethnic this, ethnic that. I mean, when you come right down to it, there's really only two races. Workers and bosses. That's it. Hey, man. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, you said the same thing last week. See, I told you he was here and you were worried. Miss Veronica? Meet Jack Faye. Oh, yeah. I had one of your first albums. <laughs> it's a shame. It's one of the things my husband took during the divorce. So, are you ready for this? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Uh, look, uh, I got a few things to do. Uh, I'll see you later, maybe. I hope you got this cat's priorities in order. Have you explained the restrictions, the limitations, the boundaries, huh? the rules? We talked about it. I hope you know we're dealing with the here and now. You can't compare the here and now with the there and then. I don't care what he's done in the past. Calm down. Everything's under control. Are his songs going to be recognizable? That's what I want to know. All of the songs are recognizable, even when they're not recognizable. Don't worry about it. We know right where we are, where everything else is. We don't chase after things that are out of reach. Ooh. Ooh. You're so spontaneous. Heidi. Diamond Joe, come and get me my wife, good quit me. talk about my troubles while they're happening, and I'll tell you about them when they're over. Anyway, oh, I slept like a log last night. I got so much shit happening, man, I'm gonna turn this here thing into Woodstock, Altamont, the Beatles, and Shea Live Aid, and the Elvis Comeback Special all rolled into one. We'll see. We'll see. I know what you think, man, but I feel good about this. I feel like someone who's lived 10,000 years, has 17 senses, and is standing ankle high in the Atlantic. Well, I hope you pull it off. Gonna buy me a sack of flour, cook cookies by the hour. Diamond Joe, you better come and get me, Diamond Joe. Diamond Joe, come and get me. Wait a minute. Who's that? Just the greatest human menagerie since the Stone Age at our services. No mediocrity here, totally beyond criticism. I got all the acts here who are gonna round out this show and fill up the bill. Come on in, come on in. Jean Darkness. 
Dolly, the rubber girl. <laughs> Eddie Quicksand with Milo. The great El Mundo with Ella, the fortune teller. And our shooting gallery of beloved world leaders, John Paul Deuce, Mahatma Gandhi, and our own beloved Abraham Lincoln. Come on in, come on in. Hey, you put on a couple pounds. Don't call that home number I gave you, Don. Joe, you better come get me, Diamond Joe. Here they are, Jack. Friends, thank y'all so much for coming, but Mr. Fate and I have some fiscal business to discuss, so if you could all step out to the holding area, there's refreshments out there. Just see Ollie, our stage manager. Thank you so hey, much. Hey, cookies. <laughs> oh, Milo. <laughs> Oh, looky here, looky what the cat drug in. Bobby Cupid. How'd you get in here? Jack, did you know he was coming? Where's your passport? I don't need no stinking passport. Land's too big out there, man. After a while, it starts to swallow you up. Mm, billion years of weather and wind. I got a surprise for you. Wait till you see this. What's that? That, my friend, is Blind Lemon's guitar. Where'd you get this from? Well, I've been saving it for you. How do you know it belonged to Blind Lemon? Because uh, I got it from this old boy's house in Dallas, down on the Fifth Ward near where Lightning used to live. Blind Lemon gave it to him when he was leading him around. Looks like the only thing you play on that guitar is solitaire. This is one of the guitars that started it all. Looks like something might go out to the corner pawn shop buy something just like it. Well. Maybe you could, but it wouldn't be like this one, because this is the one that played Matchbox Blues. Oh, Matchbox Blues. Sitting here wondering where the Matchbox hold my clothes. Ain't got so many matches, but we got so far to go. Just like me and you, Jack, we got so far to go. Yeah. I'm gonna go put some new strings on this. See you later. Later the better. I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland, Dixieland. I was born early on one frosty morning. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. I wish. I seems to span several hours, but actually only lasts a few moments. No, not really. Looking for Jack Faye. Is he in there? Who's looking for him? Name's Friend. Tom Friend. I'm with the press. Who are you? What do you do? I'm a mechanic. Well, I'm a writer. Got an assignment to cover this so-called fundraiser. I'm looking for Jack Faye. Hey, you ever read For Whom the Bell Tolls? Hemingway? There's a guy that could write, you know? Yeah, I read it. I need to see Jack Fade. You're gonna make my job easy or difficult? Well, I, I don't know anything about any fundraiser. Get word to him that I was here. Can you do that? I'll be back. I don't know. <sighs> Just 
say anything to you? Hmm? Not a thing. No. I'm hungry, Tommy. Are you hungry? Let's go get something to eat, okay? Thank you very much. He sounds like a good person. They want you to sing that song, Revolution. Yeah, Beatles song, the slow version, the in, out one. The Revolution, uh, what else do they want me to play? Well, I got the playlist right here. Let's see, where's my glasses? Okay, here we go. Revolution, street fighting man, won't get fooled again. Cell block number nine. Ohio, Eva destruction, kick out the jams. You can do all those. No, 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 sweetheart. Sound like a lot of songs. Look, son, you blew it before. This is your big chance. I'm trying to get your career back on track. There's people out there giving prizes to people like you. Prizes? Yeah, people are impressed by people who win things, don't you know? Ain't that the truth. Look, son, I'm trying to be on your side. Just let me. You gotta be born on my side, sweetheart. Oh, behold, the dreamer cometh. What's going on, dreamer? Well, there's some guy out there snooping around. You looking for me? What's he look like? What's he look like? Well, he's got a Fu Manchu goatees with some weird half-breed chick. Looks like a, a leech, a bleeder, some kind of two-faced monster, a spy. Well, that's a good attitude. You can tell all that just by looking at somebody? Yeah, well, a guy does all kind of things to give himself away. He said he's with the press. Lee, he probably would have had him shot. Sherman would have hung him. Well, maybe we should talk to him. We could use some publicity. Who does he want to talk to? He wants to talk to Jack. Well, maybe you ought to talk to him, Jack. Exposure can't hurt. Well, if you ask me, his pen's sweating blood. Well, nobody's asking you. Look, Jack, I'm doing my best. I'm trying my hardest. I'm only human. I know. It ain't easy being human. No, sir. Bumped off another taxi driver. Had to walk. What's going on out there? Uh, he's trying to bust out some political prisoner, or bust in and take some damn child molester out and hang him from the lamppost. Hell, I don't know. What is it, Tommy? What's bugging you? What's bugging me? The absurdity of a lifetime of feudal labor. That's what's bugging me. Condemned to some pointless task. I'm trying to track down some guy, ask him the meaning of life. Look at that crowd down there. Life is the meaning of life. Your problem is that you're always looking at the bug on your windshield. And if you keep looking at it, you're gonna miss the whole scenery and have an accident. You gotta look through the windshield, not at it. What's that? It's a dictatorship. It's getting worse day by day. The newspapers, they're just a false map of the world. Did you ever hear of the AIDS epidemic? Huh? What if I told you it was cooked up by some Mau Mau men in Africa and they gave it to British sailors? What about the Vietnam War? Huh? You ever hear of that? What if I told you it was lost in the horror houses of Saigon instead of on the battlefield? How do you know that? You never reveal your sources. Be careful, Tommy. The light in your brain will go off. Nah, I never thought I had a brain until now. When I've forgotten all the rest, you to me were true. Me, my 
the best When there is no more You cut through the core Quicker than anyone I knew When I'm all alone In the great unknown of the train I had so much left to do I had so little time to fail There's some people that you don't forget Even though you only see them one time or when the roses fade And I'm in the shade I'll remember you Did I try to love you? Did I, did I try? And I weep beside you When the rain was blowing in your hair I'll remember you When the wind blows through the pine wood It was you who cut right It was you who understood Though I would never say That I did it the way That you would have liked me to In the end My dear sweet friend friend with the uh, with the press. Oh, I know who you are. I know who you is. Uh, yeah, great. Long time, huh? Uh, mind if I ask you a few questions? Clear up a few things? Mm, not at all. I don't mind. Uh, ask away. You got a smoke? Uh, no. No, I don't. What do you want to know? What do I want to know? I want to know a lot of things. Like what? Well, I know you uh, you had a twin brother. Whatever happened to him? Uh, on a hunting trip. Yeah, well, Jack, that doesn't explain anything. Well, he never came back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, it won't hurt you to answer a few questions. Yes, to answer any questions. Oh, well, this will do us a lot of good. Let's just keep it simple. Just tell him what he wants to know. What does he want to know? Can we keep it short? Yeah, we can keep it short. Okay, Jack. Got a few things here. What about uh, Mothers of Invention, Jack? Hmm? Zappa. Now, there's a guy. He wouldn't take no for an answer. He did that whole movie, Uncle Meat, 16 hours long, totally unedited. Now, he let it all hang out, didn't he? What about you, huh? You ever let it all hang out? It always has been hanging out. 
You know that the singer in the group, uh, the Bee Gees? Yeah, he, uh, he sounds a lot like uh, Gene Pitney, doesn't he? Yeah, as opposed uh, to who? As opposed to who? <laughs> Town without pity. You remember that, Jack? Hmm? That place where they'd lock you up for doing something you haven't even thought about doing yet? It's a, it's a pretty lonesome world, isn't it, Jack? Hey, this here's supposed to be about a charity fundraiser, right? Yeah. yeah OK, let's wrap it up. What about the uh, Hendrix? Remember, remember, uh, remember Hendrix at Woodstock? I'm just curious, you weren't there, were you? You weren't at Woodstock. You weren't up there with Hendrix. Why? Where were you? Hey, you should have, you should have seen Hendrix, man. He, he was yeah, all business. Didn't mix business with pleasure. I'm playing the Star Spangled Banner through two lousy speakers to a half a million people in the mud. What a cry that was. <laughs> cry forlorn. Yeah, one desperate cry of freedom up there with that screaming guitar. And what was he, what was he saying, Jack? Hmm? That Star Spangled Banner trip. Now, what was that all about, huh? Revolution? Uh, I don't think so. You could hear tears in every note he played, saying, love me. Love me. I'm not a, a traitor, I'm a native son. He took the... The glorious anthem, he dropped drug bombs on it. You could hear that cry around the world saying, hey, I'm an American citizen. He's calling out to his forefathers. You know, the pilgrims, pilgrims, they didn't need any uh, stinking passports, did they? Hmm? The Hendrix, Jack, uh, he was the last man standing. Uh, pride and honor, right? That's what it's all about. But uh, they didn't, now they didn't hear him. One sad cry of pity in a town without pity. Now, what about you? What do you, what do you think about that? That's what I want to know. Would you, would you reach out to a drowning man? Would you think while you were doing it that he might pull you in? This guy's way out of line. Hey, 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 who wants a drink here, huh? Anybody want a drink? I want a drink. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, I've lost something. Hey, well, wait a minute. Maybe we can still work this out. Is this you? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. We can work this out. I got my story. You ain't working nothing out. Come on. That was all off the record, you know. Nothing's off the record. Come on. Here, have a drink. Become part of the club. Have a swizzle. Become a member in full standing. Thank you very much. I don't drink. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink. Well, I get it. You're one of them hot corn girls, ain't you? Got a lot of self-control. Freedom's only for those who practice self-control, right? Ain't that what you're thinking, right? There he is, going. Come on, he won't bite you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Fate. Who's this? This is Mrs. Brown, and she's got a lovely daughter. My daughter has memorized all of your songs. Why did she do that? Because I made her do it, that's why. <laughs> what do you think of that, Jack? Used to be she'd be sweating away in some factory underage. Now we got child labor laws. All these kids, we took them out of the factories, put them in the streets. How about that? Anyway, she wants to sing for you. She wants to sing her little heart out. Go ahead and let her. Go ahead, darling. Come gather round, people, wherever you roam. And admit that the waters around you have grown. And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times, they are changing. Come, senators, congressmen. If I know nothing else, I know at least one thing is true, that the secret is in the ordinary, the common things in life. 
They tell you that everything is nonsense, that the laws of nature are nonsense. Gravity is nonsense. Relationships don't exist. Jobs don't exist. Everything is up for grabs, and there's no cause of anything. That's what they'd like you to believe. I guess you could say that I was pushed downhill, but my fall from grace didn't end at the bottom of those stairs. It went on, and it seemed to go on forever. Expect the worst, and you'll get it. That's about all he ever taught me. All of us in some way are trying to kill time. When it's all said and done, time ends up killing us. must be on the blink. Get out of my chair, man. Oh, All right. So, here are the lyrics for Jailhouse Rock. The executives are insisting that this song be sung, okay? Jailhouse Rock, why do they want to hear that? Well, look at the lyrics, man. Uh, where is it? I don't know. It's something about uh, a party that the uh, the warden's gonna throw in the county jail. They see it as a song of hope, you know, some uh, some <laughs> some kind of egalitarian thing. They want to plant the seeds of hope. Mm -hmm. A lot of people try to plant the seeds of hope. Yeah. But the seeds won't grow if you plant them on the carpet or the hardwood floor. You gotta put them in the earth. Jailhouse Rock, Jack, what do you think? I don't know, sweetheart. You ever heard of cellulose? Cellulose. Yeah, cellulose. It's in the grass. Cows can digest it. But you can't. Neither can I. Jack, I screwed up. I screwed up big time. That's one thing about you, sweetheart. You don't do nothing small time. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. I got a couple guys chasing me down. I made him some promises. Promises are hard to fulfill. Well, I had to borrow money, Jack. I did a stupid thing. I borrowed money to buy something that's been decreasing in value ever since I bought it. Ain't that a bitch? You live and learn. Don't you understand? I'm trying to get clear of my mistakes. I got a family, Jack. I'm not going to be a burden on my children. Oh, don't leave, Jack. Look, you know I'm not some vicious person in a position of wealth and power. You're like a chemist who invents a new drug, doesn't care about the side effects. I'm in over my head, Jack. Nothing but a piker, man. A door-to-door -door encyclopedia salesman. Y you'd commit treason against your own self. Who's talking to you? Common sense. The voices inside my head. That's who. I mean, screw this so-called concert, Jack. These cats here, they're just addicted to lights and sound. Man, let's go someplace where we can see the earth and the sky. Let's go to the South Seas. Let's go where Gauguin went and just disappear for a while. Because this guy here, man, he's like a praying mantis. He don't kill his victims. He just... Hey, I don't know which one of these voices is coming out of your mouth, but tell it to shut the fuck up. 
Gauguin was a stockbroker. You have all the keys to your car for a while. Yeah. Shadows are falling. And I've been here all day. It's too hot to sleep. And time is running away. Feel like my soul has turned into steam. I've still got the scars of the sun. It's not even warm enough to be anywhere. It's not dark yet. I told you, we're in this thing too deep to make a change like this on such short notice. Hey, sweetheart. Well, 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 it's two scavengers. Somebody must have left some food scraps lying around. <laughs> Your bones break easy, you know? controlled a lot of things, a lot of people, but he couldn't control my mother. I can tell you one thing, she never loved him either. It wasn't a marriage, it was a masquerade. She could love no one, not even herself, and he loved somebody else. My mother tried to love me, but I think she was trying to kill me. I don't think she recognized me as her son. It was like I'd become a symbol of everything that had gone wrong in her life, in her world. I ever see you again. You were pretty beat and banged up that night. That was a bad night. You never resolved it with him, did you? Nothing to resolve. You don't try to straighten it out with him? You think you can? Mm. You can't be straightened out. Never be straightened out. Not by me, anyway. What you coming back for, Jack? <laughs> He's on his deathbed. I got to see him. I'm tired of not seeing him. I want him to see me. <laughs> you gave it all away, didn't you? you? Gave all the best of your way. Yeah, I did. Give it all them sons of bitches, either unwilling or unable to accept it. We all did. You want to go see him? 
You better go now. I hope it's not too late. Me too. Look, don't you forget. A home is a refuge. A warm place for the heart and mind. What can I do for you? I want to do something for you. What can I do? happens in such a short time, don't it? Seems like only yesterday. Maybe to you. Remember when we were kids, we used to play them back out there. And my mother cleaned this house. My father took care of the grounds. Uh, we were illegal back then. We ain't illegal anymore. <laughs> we're in charge now, Jack. I remember your mom. Wonderful lady. Used to ask permission before she did anything. Yeah, before she cut a leaf off a of flower, she asked permission. Couldn't wash away the real dirt, though. Nah, uh, nobody could. A lot of man your father always wanted you to be. I'm the next president of this country. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Seem pretty convinced of that. Well, you know how it is, Jack. When inferior people want to revolt, they do. <laughs> when they become equal, they want to be superior. You're looking at the top man now, Jack. This ain't no dog and pony show. We're not just a couple of macho men from the flea market. Let's disconnect these cables, overturn these tables. This place don't make sense to me no more. Can you tell me what we're waiting for? That's it. I'm pulling the plug. I'm not going to wait any longer. Wait a little longer. No. What harm will it do to wait a little longer? I'm You'll pulling the plug. Up. I know. Let her pull the plug. Up. What the hell's the difference, anyways? Who asked what's going on? Are you canceling the concert? I get my exclusive, sweetheart, right? You made promises. I did? Yeah. I don't remember. I hey, got amnesia. Big promises, buddy. Get out of my face. Thanks. For you. What did the monkey say to the leopard at the card game? I thought you were a cheetah.
His songs because they are not they are not precise they are completely open to interpretation because he cast his rule aside a tear came to his eye if you understand he said why must you even try you got any idea what that song was about yeah it's about trying to get to heaven you got to know the route before you start out no, it's not about that at all. What strikes you about the song is the Jekyll and Hyde quality. The song is written from Hyde's point of view. That's what you like. It's about doing evil and trying to kill your conscience if you can. It's not like those other songs of his, the ones about faithless women and booze and brothels and the cruelty of society. It's not like those. This one's right up your alley. It's about doing good by manipulating the forces of evil. It's just like you. Just then I'm bold and looking in, stuck the coat house up. Is it be good enough to pay the drifter? Pissing and missing the ball? I owe you an apology. You've been avoiding me, man. You don't need to avoid me. I just want to know a few things. I want to ask you a few questions. Who's making the money on the concert? Mm -hmm. You know, whose pockets is it lining? Remember uh, Janice Joplin, huh? the Judy Garland of rock and roll? Now, she took it all the way, didn't she? Now, Lord, all she wanted was a Mercedes Benz. You know, what the uh, pipe of power you smoking from? Come on, man, tell me. You're supposed to have all the answers. What makes you tick, man? You like people to fall on their knees, right, and fall all over you, huh? I don't do that. That's why you don't like me, right? How much they paying you to trot around the ring? What about uh, the king of the, of the sexual revolutionaries, huh? Hefner, that son of a Bible-thumping Baptist. Uh, now, how does that guy figure into this? You're supposed to have all the answers, man. Come on. Huh? Sexuality is uh, more revolutionary than any ideology, and you know it. <laughs> well, you think uh, good and bad are irrelevant? Tell me why. Who's your true companion? Who makes your life easier? Can you at least answer me that? I'm on your side, okay? I want to put your story on the cover of the London Times, man. You, you, you need the publicity. You know that. You've been to England lately? It ain't so English anymore. The empire is finished. I mean, you know, they got the uh, Big Ben and the tower. And, you know, that's just the theme park. Jeez, you got your start there. Man, how does that make you feel? That the empire is finished, huh? What do you think about that? That's what I want. Hey, man, I'm on your side. It depends on your point of view. Hey. I don't want to be here any more than you do. I doubt it. Oh, walk down that dirt road. 
choose to die in all kinds of ways. Some people jump out of buildings and slit their wrists on the way down. Some fall on their own swords. I opened my mouth. Do you remember? My name is Oscar Vogel. Oscar Vogel. Well, I gotta get back to the stage. The stage? Ah, yes. The stage. The whole world's a stage. Schedule. We got a problem here. There's too much electrical load. The voltage at the output terminals, they're undergoing a decrease. So can we do this? Can we start on time? We're all over. Yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. We're all over. Nothing was more important to our president than 
bringing peace to this war-torn country. Peace, a lasting peace. It can only be achieved through strength. So in my first act, as the new president, as the leader of this new government, this new regime, we will begin immediately to deploy troops in the southern region. We will resume bombing in the jungle. There will be no more violence in the organized media. We will empty the prisons, and we will fill the football stadiums, and the evildoers from the prisons will be trampled by wild elephants, mauled by uncaged bears, and packed to death by screaming eagles. Furthermore, we will alert the rebel leaders that the negotiations have ended. There will be no more compromises, no more concessions, just complete and utter unequivocal surrender. We have learned a valuable lesson. Great nations do not fight small wars. There will be no more stupidity, no more mistakes. It's a new day. God help you all. Living in a tawdry and vulgar age. What do you think? Yes, we are. You know when the Roman Empire fell? You know what Caesar and the rest of them Romans were doing when the barbarians was at the gate? What? They were shooting craps and gambling. Mm. Gambling is a waste of time and energy. Yeah. You know, if you build a casino, you gotta build it like a fortress in case there's a police raid. I suppose. Can I offer you a drink? You want to be sociable? I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't drink. Just one little sip of nectar? I don't drink. I told you before I didn't drink. Come on, you're not on duty. I said no. Come on, you can get to the truth of things. Discover the riches of a wise and good life. Oh, I say yes, I am. Don't you want to live forever? Put a little liquor in your blood. Come on. You don't want a drink. Oh, look who it is. The salt and the sleeves, the thing that came from outer space. Where'd you come from, the World's Fair? We're having a conversation here. Your day's over. There's no more conversation. Look, son, I was selling porno books out of the trunk of my car before you were born. Don't tell me I've had my day. You're the scum of all scum. You should have never been born, you pickle punk. Maybe it is your day. Let's go home. It's not too late. Let's go. Uh, yeah, it's always been too late. Huh? Look, I won the jackpot. Uh, the booby prize. Uh, that dog. Uh, Is that nothing to do? You're gonna try to protect him. You're gonna try to kill me. That sack of shit. I wouldn't spit on him, him and his mucky lion tongue. He's screwing you over like a new wolf.
crossing a cathedral. A white dove came flying by and dropped a twig it was carrying in its beak at my feet. <laughs> This guy's gone. I'm gonna call the meat wagon. You better get out of here. Go out the back way. You coming too? No, I'm not. I'll see you later. Oh, man. I had no idea to come down like this. How could you? All right. Anybody see anything? Oh. Anybody? Yeah. I saw it. I saw it all. I was right there. He did it. What? Shut up. He did it. I was right there. I saw it all. <laughs> He's responsible. I mean, it might have been a random act, but... I'll tell you what, you could put his whole life on trial. Everything in life you do, sweetheart, there's a price. You pay it up front, in the beginning, or you pay it at the back end. Oh, yeah. I was always a singer, and maybe no more than that. Sometimes it's not enough to know the meaning of things. Sometimes we have to know what things don't mean as well. Like, what does it mean to not know what the person you love is capable of? Things fall apart, especially all the neat order of rules and laws. The way we look at the world is the way we really are. See it from a fair garden, everything looks cheerful. Climb to a higher plateau and you'll see plunder and murder. Truth and beauty are in the eye of the beholder. I stopped trying to figure everything out a long time ago. As the man walked down Before you call him a bird the white of sand Before she sleeps Sleeps in the sand How many times As the cannonballs fly Before they fall Ever back The answer my friend Is one Thank you. 
exist Before it is washed Washed to the sea How many years Must some people exist Before they're allowed Allowed to be free Too many people have died. 